Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on October 2nd, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun. Some northern polar filaments stretching from the surface. Looking at 304 angstroms right there, showing the last three hours of imagery recorded earlier this afternoon. 193 angstroms here, still elongated coronal hole in the southern hemisphere of our sun, which is now affecting us with solar winds over 700 kilometers per second. Looking at another light here, just some pretty dynamic regions right now, especially the sunspot region, Earth facing right now. And then coronal hole underneath of it and a big sneaky plasma filament in the southern hemisphere right underneath of that coronal hole. So stay tuned as we could see something wild here from our sun over the next 24 hours, especially with these primed sunspot regions. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared. We've been pounded by solar winds all day long and have been for the past few days. Current space weather conditions right now, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, as well level 3 geomagnetic. Solar winds coming in over 700 kilometers per second. No solar flares, no major solar flares to report. Things are starting to calm down. KP7 earlier today, right down to KP4 now. Here is a look at the next space weather event as there are none, no CMEs in this space weather spiral today. Nothing has been put in, inputted. Having a look now at the geospace magnetosphere showing the solar winds hitting our planet. The little half white and half black circle in the center there, that is Earth. Black side showing the dark side of our planet. Left showing dawn and dusk versus east and west. And here's a look at tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow's still prevalent across most of Canada and into Alaska. Showing now the last 48 hours of imagery. Cosmic energy is leaving our sun on LASCO 3. Wide spectrum. New CME observed today. Not put into the models just yet. But it's that one right there. Happened late last night and overnight today. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as, as things are starting to really pick up. Big deep earthquake here, Argentina. 575 kilometer depth earthquake, 5.7 earthquake, Argentina. That's a big one for the region. All of a sudden gone quiet through Central America, Central Atlantic. And as well right across the North American plate for that matter. A lot of the activity is happening here in Kamchatka. Still, as well, the deep earthquake there in the Curl Islands. And a pretty deep earthquake here, Fiji. 550 kilometer depth. So we've seen a trifecta now of deep earthquakes. South America, Fiji, and as well, Kamchatka, Eastern Russia. Pacific Plate under a lot of stress right now going through a geomagnetic event, compromised magnetosphere, and things really start to shift and move around when our planet is being pounded by over 800 kilometer per second solar winds. Here's a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world, largest being the 6.9 earthquake that was reported just two days ago in the Philippines. But we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes in the past 24 hours. This is a warning, big earthquake warning across the North Pacific. Heads up. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. 35th eruption of Kilauea. You can see a big blob coming from the central Pacific there, Hawaiian Island. And as well, notable plumes coming out of Kamchatka, eastern Russia, where all of those earthquakes have been recently. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Big plume coming out of Central Africa. And as well, still some big swirls coming out of the Southern Hemisphere. As the muddy Erubus is showing some signs of some major activity. That's where all these plumes may be coming from across 
the Southern Hemisphere right now. Here's a look at the rest of the world. No new major eruptions to report. Now let's have a look at windy.com showing the weather forecast for the next few days as tropical systems through the Atlantic will be eventually making landfall in, in Spain and as well United Kingdom, Ireland, and eastward to parts of eastern and northeastern Europe. Big systems here affecting eastern Canada in the long range and as well tropical system sweeping into California to make and join forces with a big system that could come off of the um, Rocky Mountains. So merging with an Alberta Clipper. Long range forecast could see a hurricane heading towards the Gulf Coast. This forecast model shows to be a, what looks like could be a Category 3. By the time it hits the Yucatan Peninsula right around the region. Where Hurricane Michael turned into one of the fastest and strongest growing hurricanes on the planet. Carrying on here around the world, looking at weather maps, there's a lot of moisture. Southeast Asia, and as well, parts of Central Europe, big low pressure system there heading and hanging around the Mediterranean. Big system in the long range will bring days upon days of rain, so it will be over soon. Strong systems affecting Thailand. And in the long range, no major typhoons or cyclones forecasted here with Windy.com. But stay tuned because you know things can change overnight. Especially when we've got solar events affecting us. We are in fall now. And we really haven't seen any really cold dipping temperatures yet. But stay tuned because we're going to be giving you a full temperature and winter forecast for 2025. Here's a look at all the major systems affecting my friends and family down under and as well across Southeast Asia, Russia, Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, Norway, Belgium, and all around the world. Thank you all for subscribing and thank you all for being a part of this family. Much love to you all and stay tuned. We've got more and more coming to you. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. Good night.